there, Susie from Start A Mom Blog again. And I want to show you how I use PicMonkey to actually take an image and put it behind text. So it's a really cool effect and it's super simple and it's a really cool little trick. So let me show you how to do it in like 30 seconds. Not really, like five minutes. All right, so let's go right into it. <laughs> All right, so first you want to go into design. You go to pick monkey and go to design. Um, let's create some text here. And the bigger and the thicker the text is, the more that image is gonna show through from the background. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's see, um, I love posted notes. All right, we'll try that. The bigger we make it, the more our image is gonna shine through from the from the background and we can make this all caps something like that and then you want to go into the little butterfly go into overlay after you've created your text go into add your own um, I saved my image to the hub so here's my little posted notes, notes image. Okay, so now it's covering our text, but all you do here is go into blend modes and click on lighten. So here you can see the posted notes are shining through on the background and you can make them a little bigger if they're falling off. So that's one thing you can do. Um, actually have like the background of posted notes on top of your text or if we want to try something different, let's say um, sparkle. We'll try that. Okay, we'll do sparkle, then we'll add another overlay. I think I have a cool picture on my computer I can use. There you go, here's my sparkle picture. We'll add that as an overlay, and then go to blend modes and click on lighten. That works pretty darn cool. So now you can then take that image, go to the basic edits, click on canvas color. Don't wanna do that. We want to click on crop. Let's crop this little image so that we can use it on our blog. I was hoping that I could actually make the background transparent, but I can't, so we can apply that and that is your sparkle image that you can use on your blog and you can still move that background image that's pretty cool so where i got this um this image for the background was pexels oops pexels.com um and i just typed in sparkle And these are images that you can use for free without any attribution. So that's pretty cool. So if you wanna do that too, go ahead and get an image or two from Pexels. Um, use PicMonkey then to spruce it up and make it all pretty. All right, so that was super simple, super easy, and really, really pretty and cool. All right, talk to you later. Oh yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. And um, check me out at startamomblog.com. I have to remember to let people know to follow me. <laughs> or you can just follow me if you want a mommy friend. Because that's what I do when the kids are sleeping. I make little YouTube videos. And I chat with people online. All right. Bye.